Hello my cellmates, um, just got a quick, hopefully it's a quick little video for you of um, something that I've tried today that turned out really effective so I thought I would show you what I'm up to. Um, it's basically, I'm calling it my balloon smudge. You know how I love my balloons and I love creating different looks with balloons so this is going to be my balloon smudge I have um, I have a little bit of leftover paint but I also am going to use some of my Montmart um, pre-made pouring paints so I had a little bit of this navy left over so I'll work on this one first and my thing was that I was going to just um, I did start and then I thought I started to do it as a tester and it came out really well and I thought no you need to video this so I can show everybody how it comes out because it's you know just a, another little real simple technique that you might like to try so it's basically just putting your um, neg oh, your base coat down so this is just a navy and this was the um, Montmartre um, studio acrylic that I made my own navy with so I'm just just doing the edges of this I'm just using my fingers because it's fine it's just just making sure the edges are covered so you've got a nice a nice sort of um, background and it's it's finished around the edges so it's absolutely fine if you use your fingers nothing in the rule book that says you can't so that's what there is with this particular art oh okay it's got windy and my door's blown shut um is there's no rules okay it's you know you do as you, what you feel but anyway moving along so just just spread it out as evenly as you can so you've got a nice even coat underneath doesn't have to be too thick or too thin just just right so doing it in this color first but then I want to kind of do it in some Christmas colors so I've got a second canvas but this is I already did what I did is I had some yeah a bit of red left which is the brilliant red from Montmartre acrylics and just plain old white so I put a blob of this is the um, plastic uh, it's just a plastic file divider one that I would use for swiping but they're great you know because after you've used you can wash them off or peel the colors off if you so wish to use them for skin so I just put the blob of red and a blob of white on this plastic file divider just to use as kind of my little color palette so I just place that down hoping you can see that and the next thing I did is I've just got it's an ordinary everyday balloon which I've had for quite a while as you can see and I just filled it with a little bit of water I just wanted like a little tiny balloon um, which I've had for doing loads of my pores on the videos you'll see I use this little balloon along with my bigger balloons of course but this little balloon this is all that I wanted to do with it very simple so I'll just check that you can see my plastic sheet there I'm just using plain and simple red and white so I'll just move my sheet over so you can see what I'm doing I've got in a right mess here because I was I did it and got all excited because it turned out and then I thought no no I've got to film this um, because I don't want to just put the, the photos up on my Facebook art page and then everybody asks me well show us how you did it so okay I just put those blobs down as I seen I just got my little balloon I dipped it in the red and the white simple as pimple I went okay okay wipe it off so it's just 
plain and simple enough, wasn't it? Then, so I'm kind of doing out, wipe it off. So I'm calling this my balloon smudge. You know how I love balloons and creating any different look with them. So I'm just blobbing it in the, um, the plastic with the colour on it. And I'm just basically doing exactly what it says, a balloon smudge. But look how effective. I mean, there's <laughs> absolutely nothing to it. But look how effective it is when you put it on a canvas with a plain black ground. So it's just my balloon smudge. I had all different ideas what I could do, you know, if you, with this kind of, like this would really look magnificent on a whole big canvas, but I thought try it on a small one and see how you go. Oh. So, could keep splodging away there. Okay, I'm not going to go any further with that particular one. I'm just going to push it in the, the red and just do my normal little balloony thing in the centre. I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to get a little skewer. I just thought about just running the skewer gently through it. Just gently, I mean you don't have to do this but it was just to add a little bit more definition in it. But I mean just, I mean even just tracing your skewer through. I don't want to really do too much because it looks cool as it is. Um, not too keen on just that white one so I'll try and jazz it up a bit. Yet even going back through Do you know what? I'm not gonna do any more to that because I can see already I'm going too far. So it's just like would look I think it would look spectacular on a bigger canvas. So obviously I've come up with that little thing, a balloon smudge. It looks really quite effective. I could put the torch on that to bring a few more cells up, but I'm not going to, because I believe that they will actually start to develop on their own. Uh, a bit sad that I probably went a bit too overboard. I should have left it very minimalistic, but that's next time. What, what I'm going to do now with my blank canvas is I'm going to do a kind of Christmassy one. Um, what I'm thinking of, well, kind of Christmassy, we'll see how we go. I'll put the rest of my navy that I have, again, for a base coat. My puppy's just lurking around looking for their um, dinner time. <laughs> We've just had a bone, so be thankful, puppy dogs. Okay. So just the same as I did with the other ones, just spreading your base coat around. And again, this is, was the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. Um, just mixed with my, what I would normally, which you could do 70% PVA and 20% water pre-mixed. Um, this particular PVA or glue is the Alma's Glue All. I won't go down the sides for now. I will just level that out but yes you you know it's obviously nice to finish off your sides so all i'll do for that is dab my fingers and it's perfectly fine to use your fingers get down and dirty it's quite therapeutic i find unless you're a, a suffer ocd and can't don't want to get your don't want to do things that are um, get get you messy. <laughs> okay, just keeping the cloth handy. What I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to try with the gold and silver, but I'm going to um, 
I'm going to use the pre matte. I'll just move that aside just for a second while I just put my colours down. So again, I've just got the plastic sheet. Um, it's a plastic file divider because it's, you know, the paint dries easy on it and you can just peel it off. So the plastic sheet, I'm just going to put some gold and silver blobs on my plastic sheet because I think these will look really nice just on the I might even put a blob of the silver in um, might even be nice with a bit of the um, oh the bronze where is my bronze oh can't find it when I want it yeah. anyway I can't find it oh okay sorry we won't have the bronze then so I'll just pull that back um, and I've done just the blobs of silver and gold on there because I just want to be minimalistic for the time being and try and stick to what I say and I'm gonna just be minimalistic um, so I've got the gold and silver blobs and then I've got my little trusty daggy little balloon filled with water and obviously uh, sealed I am going to dip in the gold and I'm going to do kind of a starburst thing around. I'll try the silver in it. So, I knew I'd find a way to balloon, use my balloons in a way that looks like the, um, what is it, swipe paintings. Okay. Don't go overboard, she says. <laughs> so you're basically just grabbing your little balloon and just skimming it across the surface of the paint. Not really doing a big deep um, drag because you'll drag your paint off, but just a minimalistic one. Like I said, I think it will look so effective on a big canvas. I mean that's just the gold and silver I mean after that dried you could still embellish it with uh, dot painting with the uh, what do I I use this it's just a gold I've got a gold and silver white they're they're like Posca markers they're acrylic markers so you can use them to embellish your paintings afterwards I have got a video on doing that but it's just that's what you could do so if I do it obviously I will video it. I'll just put the balloon kiss in the center see how that turns out okay oh that looks nice on the balloon hey it's really nice yeah oh yeah it does yeah there you go you could re-stamp it back into another um, canvas what would I like to do with that now let me think I did think on something oh there you go I've just got some of the milk paints that I was working with the other day when I was doing the um, marshmallow uh, droplets pour I think you would have seen my video so it's just a little bit of milk paint that I still have left whether it's any good I don't know but I'm just gonna see if I can embellish it with some false cells might not work may work but just doing the droplets kind of yeah they're basically full cells when you do them in the milk paints so same I suppose as using a pen afterwards to embellish you're kind of doing it um, but it's actually, you know, it's kind of a little bit different again. You know, we're always trying to search for something new and something different to do than the same old, same old. It's like everything in life. We're always looking for something new and adventurous. Well, some of us, some of us like, um, what is it when your life is steady and doesn't change? I can't think of the word. I'm sure somebody will tell me now. 
I'm the one for change and love doing new things. As my father said, you have a bit of gypsy in you, Jill. And that's what I used to be called by my dad. Gypsy Jilly. Okay, this is definitely going overboard as I do, but I just wanted to show you the um, possibilities to it, should I say. Possibilities. Living dangerously. So obviously nicer if it's a little bit more minimalistic and for somebody that you might want to make a couple of these gift uh, little canvases for for Christmas you can still get them up and going and um, get them uh, varnished before Christmas give them as Christmas gifts Now I'm going overboard with my droplets, you know why, because they're just so therapeutic to do. Really lovely. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like it. It's therapeutic to do. They're two nice little canvases. They're kind of Christmassy. They've got the red and white in. I should definitely add some gold blobs to that. And that one's already done. I'm not sure if you can see this canvas now I've put it down I'm just going to do a few gold a few white blobs I'm not saying gold blobs um white blobs they're just droplets I know um, when I did my video on this lots of people said oh you can use droppers you can use this I have used a syringe before but even though I could use a dropper or a, a pipette this is still probably the, I've tried different things and I still find this the best way to do it um, yeah all good fun therapeutic and oh, look how nice they look they look really I mean well they just look effective I'm gonna just try I'll finish just put some more blobs in the center of this I'm gonna see what it would look like if I used my skewer to kind of join them just just another little test if it doesn't work then you just don't do what I've done to just, uh, I should have to make up some more of this milk paint because it's quite you know good for embellishing your pores okay where's my little skewer 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 it's gone no oh, there you go I just wanted to see if kind of look like little tadpoles when you do that, hey? So much fun, so much fun. I'm just, I'm gonna. Now I'm really happy with this and look and I still carry on and do more and I get told off every time. Just tiny little tails on the last one just to soften it up even further. Look at that. So effective. So simple. So effective. I've used my Montmartre pouring paints I love the go well I love them all gold and silver so obviously you would only use it a little bit in these kind of works so the Montmartre pouring paint what are they 795 fantastic fantastic so I love them I will put some more photos up but I'm very happy with that very minimalistic balloon smudge okay it's a balloon smudge um i'm gonna try definite pardon me definitely this weekend i will do that on a bigger canvas a much bigger canvas and then you can let me know what you think but i love it especially for christmas time now i'm having the gold silver and the red and white thank you so much for joining me again on my crazy art experiments i absolutely um I'm thankful to you all for that to have subscribed if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to please press on the subscribe button um, 
I have an acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. If you'd like to join us over there, you're more than welcome. Until next time, see you then.